hours, minutes, seconds. Why do we use them? It's 2023, and at this point, all but the most stubborn countries have adopted the metric system for quantifying measurements. Gone are the days of nonsensical units like feet and inches. In their place, the wonderfully consistent monochrome rainbow of SI prefixes, empowering the units they proceed like a cool leather jacket. So why on earth do we still split up the day in such a silly way? No more, I hereby introduce, on this day that will be forever remembered, the decimal clock. This makes use of SI prefixes, aligning our quantification of time itself with all other measurements. Dividing the day into millidays and microdays provides a clear indication of the progression of time and eliminates the never-ending debate between the superiority of 12 and 24 hour clocks. The most significant digit of this particular clock represents the day of the week. Unfortunately, despite my best efforts, I have been unable to kickstart the widespread adoption of a 10 day week, so this digit counts from 0 to 6. This particular decimal clock has a fairly simple topology, with its time base derived from a 1 MHz crystal oscillator, whose output is passed through a combination of ripple counters and logic gates to divide its frequency by 86,400, the number of seconds in a day. This then produces an output signal with a period of 86.4 milliseconds, which just happens to equate to exactly one micro day. This signal is then fed into a decade counter with a built-in seven segment decoder, driving the least significant digit of the display. There are six more of these counters, each fed by the carry output of the preceding digit to create a simple seven digit decimal counter. To prevent the most significant digit, representing the day of the week, from exceeding six, there is a simple state detection circuit which will reset this counter to zero the instant it reaches a value of seven. To set the clock, one must wait until midnight on Sunday before pressing the reset button located at the bottom of the board. Upon its release, the clock will start counting and you will have successfully transitioned into the modern age of decimal time. For anybody wanting to find out more about this project, I've created an exhaustive video series on its development, design and production. Covering the initial concept, making a schematic in KiCad, producing a PCB from this and ordering it, assembling the PCB and how to solder, and finally how to do bodges, fixing the mistakes you've inevitably made by following my poor advice. If you think this is cool and want to see more projects like it, make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.